Are you heading to a Las Vegas conference? Are you staying at the MGM or the Las Vegas Convention Center? How about the Remax R4 Convention? I'm Lisa Harris with Remax Center and I'm heading to my ninth consecutive Remax R4 conference. So I was recently interviewed by Remax. We have six tips for you, whether you're a first timer or you're coming back again, we have some really great tips. So click on the article below. Remax is celebrating our 50th anniversary. So we're expecting record turnout and we're here to help you get the most out of your experience. So Lori Hamilton and I are putting together an entire series. If this is your first time, send us your questions. If this is not your first time, send us your suggestions. We'd love to hear from you. All right, so let's talk about this article. Number one, meet as many people as possible. Now, I know that this sounds a little bit obvious because you're going to a convention, but sometimes people tend to travel in groups and they stay with their little group throughout the entire convention. I see them eating lunch together. I see them grabbing coffee together. I know it's in your comfort zone to stick around with the folks that you know and trust, However, if you can break away from them and be a little bit independent, I know you're a realtor, I know you can do it, this is what you should do. Meet new people, hug new people, develop new relationships. My friend Colleen, in this article, Colleen says, imagine you're with a group of three people or five people and you're traveling around together all week long. Say you're five people from your office and you make a new connection and they say, oh, I have a lot of people in my area that moved to Atlanta. Well, now you have a one in five chance of making a really strong connection because you're in that group. That really makes a lot of sense, right? So this year I'm attending the PSA, that's the Pricing Strategy advisor and last year I did the real estate negotiation expert. One year I did the certified luxury home marketing specialist and the benefit of this is that you are attending class in a smaller group. So you might have 50 or 75 people locked in a room for the entire day and you're going to quickly connect to people who have similar likes and interests. So and that's a whole lot better to connect with 50 people here than 10,000 people throughout the week. So think about that if you haven't signed up this year, think about that as a strategy for next year. Number three, analyze the schedule. Be sure to check out the schedule. They've already posted it online and it will change a little bit here and there. We should have the app pretty soon. I recommend that you take a look at the schedule and really detail your time out because it's it's really hard to go from class to class. Sometimes you're running from class to class. So um, be sure to really plan your days and um, make the most out of your time. And number four, this might be number one really, you are going to be getting your steps in. I mean, it is a trek just from your hotel room to the elevator. So go ahead and get those comfy shoes now and start bringing them in five is the coffee pot. I know you've probably heard this by now, but most of the hotel rooms in Las Vegas do not have coffee pots. Is it the only place in the world? It's the craziest thing ever. So if you're staying at the Signature, there's a chance that you might have a coffee pot, but you'll want to go ahead and check just to be sure. But I always bring a little portable coffee pot with me. Starbucks isn't opening as early as they used to. And so you're going to really appreciate the fact that you have some hot tea or hot coffee. Be sure to thank me when you see me. And if you're bringing promotional items, think about things that really represent you and your brand or maybe your city. What is your favorite promotional item that you've ever received? I still haven't ordered mine yet and I've got to get on it. So I need some feedback. Give me your comments. Love to hear your comments. And if you have any questions or feedback on this video, please let us know. We have a whole series of what to do, what not to do, where to go, even where to stay if you haven't booked your room yet. So be sure to be on the lookout for the next video and we'll see you in Las Vegas.